Welcome back to Voice of the Republic. This is Ed. And this is Carl. Right. Today we're talking about Willie Scott. <laughs> or less frequently known as Wilhelmina Scott. Mm. Is that her full uh, Indiepedia name? Yes. Huh. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. You know what's really funny? Uh, before we get into actually talking about her, uh, she was actually named after the writer's dogs. Wait, no, it was who, whose dog was she named after? She's named after someone's dog, uh, <laughs> or the character oh, really? was. Yeah, and then um, the uh, short, name Short Round actually came from a, the other person's, because I think one was Sp Spielberg's dog, I think Willie was Spielberg's dog, and Short Round was the writer's dog. That's... A Amazing. Yeah. And I uh, all named after the dog? Yeah, exactly. So I don't know if maybe that's like a recurring joke behind the scenes is they kept on naming all the characters after their dogs. So like by the time they got to Last Crusade, they had to throw that joke in there that Indiana is named after his dog. So uh, I don't know. I, I, I thought that was really funny because I forget where I even saw that. But I, was look, I was looking up stuff before uh, the show, mm. and I saw that like those characters weren't actually named after Spielberg's dog and then the writer's dog. So, that's, I mean, if that's all true, that's amazing that, I mean, I feel it works out really well. Mm -hmm. You know, Short Round is a great name. Um, mm -hmm. Willie Scott, I guess it, you know, it, it works definitely in, in, a, in a 20s, 30s capacity as, like, being a headstrong woman, and you'll have a lot of women who are trying to show you how independent and uh, modern they are. Mm -hmm. um, even though I consider her hair to be a major fail in terms of accuracy. That drives me crazy. Mm, um, yeah. Not just this movie, any movie where you've got, like, severely <laughs> dated hair, like modern dated. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, oh, uh, yeah, it, it, that's another thing that kind of bugged me as a kid a little bit. It's like, why she got a, a boy's name? she got two boys' names. Well, you know, I think what it comes down to is... Uh, they like they all said during production that they wanted to get her as far away from Marion as possible. Uh, so they that that's one reason the actress actually has brown hair. So they dyed her hair blonde. Um, everyone loved Marion, so they made Willie unsufferable and terrible. God, yeah, congrats. <laughs> yeah, so mission accomplished. You made her the exact opposite of Marion Ravenwood. So there, uh, aside from you know, if you or maybe if you. Grew up watching a lot of these movies, and you know you were hitting puberty about that time. The only redeeming quality to Willie Scott is that she has larger breasts, which are wet and in very revealing type outfits, like without showing everything. But you you get a lot of boobage mm -hmm. out of Willie Scott. Beyond that, you're right. No redeeming qualities. No, and, and it's really funny because my mom. Uh, I was talking to her about it, and she's like, you know what? The one thing I remember about this movie is she screams a lot. Holy fuck. All the <laughs> fucking time. It's, I'm pretty sure that she got her script for today, and it's just pretty much, ah, 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 ee. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's, that, like, that's, that's her pages for the day. Done. Yeah. And, and I remember, you know, the making of, Spielberg was telling her. It's just like, there's... Lots of screaming. This is what your character does in these situations. And she's like, I've never screamed like that ever in my life. And I've never had to do it as much since, you know. Mm -hmm. Just these shrill shrieks all the time. God, it was awful. Yeah, it was. Ugh. And, and, you know, she would just keep shrieking. And unfortunately, our hero isn't doing anything about it. Like, he's not resolving the problem. He's not trying to... <laughs> What do you? What is it? She's like, ah, it's fucking thugs and snakes coming at me, you know. He's like, all right, shorty, what, do you, what car do you have? You know, he's just yeah. ignoring her. I'm like, no, shut her up, punch her, something. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 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 just awful. Yeah, 
nothing, nothing happening, man. And they say that they tried to do the whole thing where they, she starts off as a damsel in distress, but then somewhere along the movie, she, she finds her strength and she becomes a strong, independent woman. I'm like, no, I don't see it. <laughs> no, no, she's the same uh, gold digging, opportunistic. Um, I don't know what you'd call it. Might I know what I would call it, but I probably shouldn't say it in case it's mixed company. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. But I think <laughs> not, not well. Okay, even if she was along for the ride, mm-hmm. that's fine. I don't, I don't, I can, I can accept her in in this movie. Even even in, in all of Indiana Jones versus so many other characters that have popped up or changed or are unacceptable. But the thing that drives me crazy isn't just that she's there. It's that Jones is attracted to her. That there's <laughs> some kind of forced chemistry. Now, okay, when they're in the palace and they're going to get it on, I'm like, oh, well, he clearly wants to bang her. But towards the end of the movie, he's all like lovey-dovey and arm around her and, you know. And, yeah being tender. I'm like, no, just just bang her. Don't yeah. Bang. And I'll, I'll be honest, I have never had the desire to get my dick wet so badly that I put up with someone like that. <laughs> if you do, you need some help, y'all. Yeah, and I, I have no idea. Like, And I even said it, I was like, what is the attraction here? They've known each other for literally maybe a day or two at the most. Yeah. And he's all like, well, I, I, I got to protect her. I really like her. Blah, 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 blah. And he's like, why? First off, she's abrasive. She's belittling and demeaning towards you. Uh, you know, it's like the, there's no positive quality. and There's no positive. Literally watch the first 20 minutes of that movie, and she yeah. never says a single nice thing or anything constructive, or anything towards Indiana Jones of that nature. It's all like, well, blah, 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 you're ugly. Well, what What are you, a lion tamer? I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, and, and just stupid shit. Okay, you know, um, the uh, ancestor that, you know, he's trading uh, with Lao Che, which I, I love Lao Che, the Chinese gangster. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's like, he puts it down on the, on the, uh, the Lazy Susan thing, and he starts turning it around, she's like, wow, your ancestors are a really small guy. And I'm like, <sighs> yeah. And I, if I was Indiana Jones, I'd just be like, you shut the fuck up, no one is talking to you. I'm trying to do business here. <laughs> yeah, you should have just stabbed her, just a, you know. Yeah, just give her a little poke. Teach her. Yeah. Do the, the, uh, the, uh, the dog whisper. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a newspaper? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's one. You know, and it's and I think it's even magnified though by the fact that Marion Ravenwood is such a great, well written, amazing female character. Mm-hmm. Uh, here you got this woman who's tough. You, the first time you see her, she's drinking some big Siberian looking dudes underneath the table. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like she's she's a oh I honestly I'm pretty sure Marion Ravenwood has a bigger dick than me. And yeah, most absolutely. And you know, and that's great. I love her as a character. There's nowhere in the point in that movie where she's like, "Oh, I'm a girl. I can't do this." You know, yeah. the the Even only time she's in distress, she turns the tables. Yeah, is she's always fighting. She's always trying to get back on top. She never depends on Indiana Jones. I mean, there are some times when she gets in over her head and Indiana has to come and help her, but there's always, like, she never gives up, and she's always struggling. She's always trying to get, like, back on top, and that's just, that is the type of girl that you like to see in movies like this, not someone that's like, and I broke a nail. Like, she actually, there's at least twice in the movie that she makes reference to breaking a nail. Yes. And at that point, not only is that just stupid, but that's poor writing because you've just made the same joke twice within a two-hour movie. It's, yeah, it's, it's ugh. And that's what mm, stinks of Lucas, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but the other thing that she brings to the table, which is so bizarre in the indie series and from these filmmakers, is a lot of sex. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, it, this definitely helped push that PG-13 rating. Um, so it wasn't just the crazy violence. 
Uh, it wasn't just uh, the uh, just a lot of swearing, especially from Indy. Mm-hmm. And now you've got oh my god, you've got this girl who's throwing herself at Joan. That's not subtle. Like mm-hmm. it's it's not something that's like gonna go over the head of little kids. It's very like she's just like you know he's pushing on a on a statue's boobs, and she's <laughs> like I'm right here, I'm right here. I'm like <laughs> yeah, you know. And then she's touching the boobs. And, and she's like, like ew, boobs. Yeah. And that becomes sexual because of her reaction, because she does it at all for no reason. Yeah. Um, mm, just so much awful. It's, it's almost it's like the people that wrote this movie also wrote Howard the Duck. It's so strange. <laughs> Maybe. That act, that's a truth, people. That's actually what happened. Oh, good. I, w- I won't put money on that. Yeah, and look what happened, Howard the Duck. Yeah. So. God. Yeah. Well, um, then it's good for everyone that she. Uh, she, she just disappears. Poof. <laughs> In a cloud of dust. Maybe she doesn't make it to New Delhi. <laughs> One could only hope. Yeah. Well, maybe Shorty got sick of her. You know, he's very capable. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted at one point for uh, short round just to be like, she's not gonna be my new mom, is she? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the other worst thing. Oh, my God. Especially at the end. So you've got Indy, who is, you know, all-American action hero male. You've got Short Round, his sidekick, but is very clearly a child. And now you've got blonde Insta-mom. And they're walking out as this, this nuclear family type vision, you know, when they bring all the children home and Everything's great with the village at the end. And you see all three of them walking together. I'm like, kids. We saved all the kids. Hooray. We saved all the kids. Hooray. Short <laughs> Rant's got a mom. Hooray. <laughs> God. But yeah, I think. Uh, again. Sorry. <laughs> Wet Willy. What the whole Willie. reason she was wet was because of that wet willy joke. God. Uh, and then it got cut. <laughs> that was the joke. It was like, well, if her name's Willie, it'd be really funny if she was wet a lot like a wet willy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it, George. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Well, I think we should go ahead and wrap it up because that. Yes. I, I, I don't think we can beat on Willie too much more without. Now, you know, the cops are getting called for a dis- domestic <laughs> incident. So, uh, let's go yeah. ahead and, and put a fork in this one for today. So. Yes, cut just like Willie's side. Um, cool. So, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, it's Friday show. And um, no Republicans, which is okay. This is kind of a last minute uh, show topic. But um, you can always feel free to let us know what you think anytime, 24 hours a day. And uh, all our contact information, everything about us, our likes, our dislikes, our horoscopes, our foot size, is all at www.vorradio.com. Um, links to YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, million ways to get a hold of us. And go check out our back catalog and come hang out with us on Facebook. We're always there. And we're ready for you. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Well, until tomorrow, may the force be with Willie's ass. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>